Start post on me. And then, hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, MMAForSelfDefense.com. I'm going to go over some real basics because i got two new beginners to grapplers in class. So going over some basic uh, choke, rear naked choke, short choke, just some uh, whatever I feel like doing. Some basics, okay? So learn about the chokes, but important stuff to know. Relax, relax your shoulders. I'm just going to do this from my knees, then I'll do it with the hooks in, okay? Just old Japanese style learning the chokes. Rear naked choke, two types of chokes, arterial and throw. Rear naked choke is supposed to be arterial. Okay, this is not how to do the choke. This is uh, pro wrestling. Uh, tap out, you're hurting. Uh, okay, that's pro wrestling. Okay, look at all the space in my arms. Get closer, just get on my arms. Where you can zoom in. There's a zoom on it, too. Okay, see all the space in here? You don't want a lot of space. This is what bouncers do that don't know what they're doing, okay? And roid heads, and, and this is, you know, pro wrestling. Hand on top stinks too because his defense is to peel the hand off. They're two on one on the hands. A good choke is you're gonna take the hand and dig deep. Dig your hand in like a knife, dig deep and put your elbow to the front of his neck. Okay? Then you're gonna get your shoulder as deep as you can. And then you're gonna weave the hand in behind his head. That's step one, really. Step two is gonna be to compress your elbows together. And see, he already tapped out. I didn't even finish the third part that I would if I was in a fight, MMA or street, whatever. Step one, in deep. Grab your own shoulder, weave in. Get behind his head, you can make a fist or go here. Don't do this because you're gonna push his head farther forward if you turn your hand sideways. Okay, and it's gonna make it tighter and harder for him to grab. If I'm up here, go ahead and peel my hands off, grab, yeah, get both your hands up there. Now he's got a two-on-one. That's the defense to a rear naked choke. A lot of times you'll see in UFC because it's hard to get behind the head with MMA gloves on. So I want to hide this behind his head. Okay. Step two is going to be to pinch your elbows together. And see, he's already tapping. I put a lot of pressure on you, right? Okay. Slowly, I'm going to push his head forward and pull this wrist in. But my elbows weren't together. In reality. Put your elbows together first, always, because that's structural, before you use any kind of flexation because your arms burn out with lactic acid. Here, put your elbow tips together, and then here. I'm going to compress his head down as I pop this wrist in. Without him, instead of here. I'm going to do this to finish off. One, pinch your elbows, two, and then three. This goes down to compress his head forward, and I always pop this in because a lot of times I get chokes just by popping the blade of the wrist into his artery, and it's like a scissors motion, okay? So a lot of beginners are taught this guy. Scissor this and push this. That hurts just to back like a guillotine on the throat. Right? Pretty naked. I want to slide it deep. Okay? Here, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pinch my elbows together. I'm going to push his head forward so you can see the motion as I compress this one. Okay, look, that's ready. Okay. And that's without my elbows together. Nice and slow. Pinch my elbows together and then compress. So it's a nice play choke. You want this basically, like a double rape choke around his neck. There's two main arteries and there's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lots of little itty bitty arteries. Okay? You want to close them all off. Now, if I'm doing this, and I'm a like I said, it's hard to get this behind me. My head's here and I'm trying to choke him. He peels my hand off. Go ahead and peel my hand off. He does that defense. As soon as it peels down, I take that motion and momentum. Then slide this back into my clock choke. Alright? Not clock choke, to a short, short choke with the wrist. Here. Okay? And I pop that wrist into his throat. But that's a, the, the counter to the counter that we're in the choke. As soon as the hand gets peeled, peeled my hand off, I go in, suck him in to the rear naked. Now, I, you know, I'm talking so everything's not exactly super, super perfect. <coughs> but when you're choking someone from behind, you, it's intimate. You want to be able to whisper in his ear, you're going to sleep, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to take your money, whatever it is. I'm not saying be violent, I'm talking self-defense, I'm talking so you understand that your mouth should be back by his ear. So I can lock down in one hand choking him. I can be deep on choking, please choke with him. One arm. That was an arterial choke. 
This is how I get a lot of top fighters, just with one hand, and I throw to them. This is how sometimes you get that hand peeled down or stuck under his armpit pitch. I could be in here on the guy, and I can still choke him. Here, as long as my head's tight, I'm ready to whisper into his ear. Okay? Okay, so let's go over that one more time. We're gonna get choke. Let's do it on my knees. I'm in here deep, guys. Pinch, compress. If he gets the defense, he peels the hand off. As soon as it goes, I peel my hand to him one. He peels down. I pull it up and shorten up on this. This, if I can, get this behind for leverage. This elbow behind for leverage. And this one peels back and have my hand by here. Here. Behind his back for leverage. And this one pulls back. I'm going to throw. Okay? Um, yeah, let's just do it from the side here so you get a different view. In, pitch your elbow here. Here. Arterial choke police style, in case you need to access firearms cuff. Okay. One handed, I gotta punch somebody else. Here. Okay, so there's different kinds of chokes. Now going to more advanced. Hold this way. I think I started with the Marcello here. Okay, if I grab him here in the Marcello, the lasso, you usually will peel the whatever hand's on top up. So I peel my hand up. He goes there, this one's free to go right to the choke. And now I can, there's a, where I get a lot of guys with the one hand choke. Not a lot of guys do that guys. So if I'm here in a Marcello hold, lasso hold, maybe I'm being mean and pressing my fist into his solar plex. Okay, I'm keeping up on him. He peels that off. I go here and go right to the choke. If I can get in here and trap his wrist for me to do that or to set up a rear naked, okay, I can peel this down. I can put the foot over BJ Penn style, work my chokes from there. If I'm having trouble choking him because he's pinching on the elbow down and he's got good hand control, two on one, grab my wrist or pinch my your hand down here, he's doing this. I can take my lead hook out, okay. We go to the exorcist. I take this foot out, I have a video just on it. Kick the butterfly, go to like a face crank position, kick the butterfly to the other side, then keep the neck where it is, and do a nasty spine lock. So look up the exorcist video. My version of Boss Rutan's exorcist. Get a lot of guys with that too, because the rear naked, everyone's got the defense down, especially if that my leg was on. So hopefully that teaches you guys a little about, about chokes. Please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dan the Wolfman One. You know, if I'm really fighting, I'm gonna have everything super tight. I'm gonna put it in, weave it in, all sneaky. I'm gonna have my head back there. I'm gonna pinch those elbows and compress. You don't want this kind of space. You want here, and then take up the space. Take up that space. His neck's gonna be in there. You don't want his neck. You want to comprise around. You don't want it to have any space. Okay, so subscribe, Dan the Wolfman One. YouTube.com. So Dan the Wolfman. Come on, thanks guys.